Nollywood actor Okafo John, probably known as Mr. Ibu, passed away. Donations were sought for and his health issue became complicated. Eventually, Mr. Ibu passed away. Mr. Ibu had graced the screens of a lot of people. He had added value. He had entertained a lot of lives. But unfortunately, Mr. Ibu is surrounded by reapers. Who are reapers? Well, I don't want to go into the definition of reapers, but as I proceed on this terrible update, you will realize that Mr. Ibu was surrounded by what I call reapers. Mr. Ibu had this young lady around him and people had said he's in a relationship with Jasmine. In fact, it got to a point, Jasmine and Mr. Ibu's son had joined forces together to rip Mr. Ibu. They wanted to cart away millions of Naira from Nigeria down to the UK. They were already on the process of getting a UK visa. They were caught. The police interrogated them and eventually money was returned. Mr. Ibu forgave and continued. On the other end, we have Mr. Ibu's wife also. Issues upon issues. We heard that Mr. Ibu's wife wanted to sell property, sell land. She said she needed to change her smartphone. She needed this, she needed that. Whilst Mr. Ibu was uh, admitted, going through terrible times. According to what we heard, Mr. Ibu had been poisoned several times. Some said Mr. Ibu lived a rough life, meaning he thought enjoyment is when you drink a lot of alcohol and uh, you eat a lot of um, beef. Well, the problem right now is this. The family and friends of Mr. Ibu had set up a GoFundMe page. According to them, this is to help them cover the funeral cost for the actor. Hmm. On June 28, 2024, the family of Mr. Ibu announced that he will be buried on June 28, 2024. Mr. Ibu passed away after suffering cardiac arrest on March 2nd, 2024 at Evercare Hospital in Lagos after months of hospitalization during which one of his legs was amputated. Following the announcement of a five-day funeral for the actor, the Central Planning Committee made up of his family and friends appealed to the public for donations to ensure a successful burial for him. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are from Mr. Ibu's part of the country, southeast of Nigeria, can you explain what five-day funeral is in your culture? Donations were made to help Mr. Ibu stay alive. He passed away. And now, Mr. Ibu's body is being mocked. They're asking for donations so that they can fulfill a five-day funeral. They want to throw parties and expect people to pay money. Now, the statement jointly signed by the Chairman, Central Planning Committee, Monday Diamond, Secretary, Central Planning Committee, Christy Ejofo, and the President, Actors Guild of Nigeria, Emeka Rolas. Can you imagine? They stated that the ailments which led to the actor's demise consumed millions of naira, which was why they are asking for financial assistance so that they can throw five days party for Mr. Ibu. Five days party for Mr. Ibu. The statement reads, The Central Planning Committee of late John Okafo, family and friends, solicit financial support from the general public to help them execute a successful barrier for the late Nollywood legend. Mr. Ibu suffered an ailment which consumed tens of millions of naira through hospital bills 
for almost a year. Mr. Ibu, who passed away at the age of 62, left a lasting legacy in Nollywood. The planned event aimed to honor his contributions to the industry and celebrate his life. The CPC urges the public to support this cause to give Mr. Ibu the farewell he deserves. The committee stated while providing his any bank account details where the funds could be sent to. According to the funeral announcement signed by Sonny Okafo on behalf of the family, the burial arrangements will begin on Tuesday, June 25th, 2024, with a novelty match between Nollywood and Rangers International. Also, a candle night procession will be held for the actor on Wednesday, June 26. While awake at the actor's compound in Izioque, Amuri in Enugu State will follow on Thursday, June 27. The statement had it on Friday, June 28, 2024, his body leaves Eastern Nigeria Medical Center to his hometown in Amuri, in Kano, West Local Government Area, around 10 a.m. for the burial ceremony. The funeral service will be held on Sunday, June 30, followed by a thanksgiving. The Central Planning Committee also expressed gratitude to those who had already contributed, especially Jeremiah Fufunye, that's the head prophet of Christ's Mercy Land Deliverance Ministry in Ephraim Delta State. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about this? What is your thought about this one? What is happening? What is going on? What is going on here? Can you guys relate to what they are saying? They are requesting for money. They are requesting for donation. After millions of Naira, according to them, are being exhausted to keep Mr. Ibo alive, apart from the money that uh, some of Mr. Ibo's uh, family stole and some money that I believe will be with them. Mr. Ibo was only um, loved for what he could provide, for money that he could get from him. Why is this barrier costing this much? Why are they requesting for so much money? To bury Mr. Ibu. Why can't they cut cost? They said they need a novelty match between this and that. Does that need money? They said they are going to do some parade here and there. They are going to move around. Does that need money? I don't really understand what this is all about. They've... Um, planned what they are going to do they are going to do night procession does that need money do they need money for the night procession i think uh, people will be coming around so 25 26 27 they say there is going to be a wake in amuri in enugu state must they serve people food must they drink alcohol must they drink alcohol we need to revisit this barrier of a thing. Must they drink alcohol on the 27th? Now, on the 28th, 2024, they say the body of Mr. Ibu will leave the morgue. And around 10 a.m. for burial. So, um, on the 30th, there will be, they said Sunday, June 30, there will be Thanksgiving. What's going on? The Thanksgiving requires money too. Is that what you're saying? Or which of them requires a lot of money? I don't know what you guys think of this because comment section is blazing. People are angry. People are upset. They said, what is going on here? That they should first account for the money donated for his treatment. Plus, why do they need money from the public to bury him? That what is going on here? Why do they need money? What's going on here? I don't know what you guys think of this one. Drop your comments. See you in the next update.